What would I do with fisheries when I graduate? What can someone who has a BSc in fisheries do? What can someone who has a BSc in marine biology do? I have set out my whole life in the University of Lagos trying to answer that question in many ways. Today, we have someone who will answer that question in one unique way. And that one unique way is, where is the cash in marine biology and fisheries? A practical exposition. His name is Mr. Adeniron Ademiwa Izo, aka Mr. Fish, world renowned Mr. Fish. A round of applause for him. A round of applause for him. From this your department, we graduated very many years ago, before most of you were born. And he has been using the marine biology and fisheries he has studied here to grow his zeal, his expertise, his experience, and earning money, whether in local and foreign currencies. He is renowned for the book he has published, for his wonderful house, which you all want to visit, and he's going to be leading us to answer the question, aquapreneurium. Where is the cash in marine biology and fisheries? Like I mentioned, he's a graduate from this department, the Deformed Biological Science, from the 80s. I welcome to you and I introduce to you, honorably, Mr. Fish. Thank you very much. Good morning. Uh, I like all you friends. And now, uh, okay, I think. Good morning, family members. Now, this is not a seminar. This is a family meeting. What did I say? <coughs> I didn't hear you. Why I said so is this. I get hungry in my spirit. Anytime I see that the people doing well in fish are the people who never went to fishery school. Now, I'm going to tell you who Mr. Fish is. Now, Mr. Fish is a brand name. Well, they call me Mr. Fish. He's told you my name already. The company is called Mr. Fish Limited. And then the brand name, Mr. Fish. Why? Because I found out that if you know, if you, wealth is a function of the amount of lives you have impacted, not really the amount of money in your pocket. I'm sure somebody will say, sure, you better have the cash. But that cash will be exhausted or you go suicidal if you just have the cash with you and you are not impacting lives. I've seen old people who end up with Alzheimer disease because they are bored. They don't have young people around them who they have mentored. So the, the mantra I have in life is that make sure that you make every junior fellow that you come across to be bigger, better, more successful than I am. That's what I have, that's what I have in my mind. While me too, I'm striving to be bigger, better, more successful than the people who have been before me. And that's a very real heavy one. Because if I begin to tell you who the guys in fisheries are, you will be shocked. But by the way, uh, I will say something. I graduated here in 1985, BSc, and then came back for master's 1987. Okay, came back for master's 1987. But like many of you here too, I remember 19, uh, I think 1980, of course, the reigning thing is medicine or do law or engineering. So like it is everybody, all my friends, we all pick medicine. Second choice, zoology. Go to Jamba office, Oxford Road. Sorry, my name was not there. Oh, that was one of the saddest moments of my life. So the battle was okay. Let me just do the, let me just go for, come for, they took me on the second course, which is zoology. So I came in here at Unilag doing preliminary studies, right, prelim, with an intention, like, like zoo call, zoo ni, that once you do well in your, what's it called, in your prelim, you can always cross over to medicine, which is a normal thing. So I started reading heavily for my, for my prelim stuff. So once you have B, 
say A B B or A B something shall A, A B B or there about or A A B you will get through. But I didn't take the chance. I made sure I enrolled that. Lagos State Polytechnic for master uh, for HSC for advanced levels, right? So that in case they don't pick me here, I will go for I will use A levels to come into to come back to Unilag again. So 1980, I was a student in two schools, University of Lagos on admission. At the same time, I was attending courses at Lagos Poly by the toll gate. That's the School of Basic Studies. That time they used to have Federal School of Arts and Science. Now I'm going back to this to help a few of you, your mindset first, to know that I've been, I've been through it too, and I was much more desperate than you. Now what happened along the line? When it was time for final papers, let's say today, we had final paper chemistry. It was going to end at 11 o'clock here at Unilab. Now physics, practicals, A levels, was going to start at 11 o'clock at Lagos Poly, HSC. Now, I finished the paper at 11 o'clock, okay, fine, before everybody finished. Now, to move from here to toll gates, how many minutes is that going to take? So I moved, there was no card at that time. By the time I got there, 45 minutes has elapsed, and this is an experiment that involves pendulum. And the invigilator was like, what? How come you are late? He can't even imagine it. To cut the story short, I ended up with a I think with a, with, a, with a C in physics. So that means I can't even do medicine again. Then for this one, because my mind was not even settled, I had good ones in my prelim, but they changed the, the uh, what's it called? The, the, the concept there that once you do well, you can cross over. Because there's so many children and professors in my set. Then I said, no way, it's what, they took, what you admitted for, that's what you end up doing. Ha. <laughs> A levels, I didn't do well. This one that I did well, they said, no way. You should know what that means to you. So I couldn't say, well, you need like call, you need like me. Let me go to UI. So I quickly filed him for transcript to change to UI. But you know the mistake I made? When they were doing the, uh, they were doing the, uh, is it the, this Senate that they will meet, at UI, my dad seemed to have friends there, that kind of thing. And it was my turn interview. They were asking for my transcript. Do you know my transcript never got to UI? What happened? Because I submitted my transcript very early. Are you getting me? Permit me to, to sit with you, sir. Sorry about that. Do you know what happened? My transcript, they were asking all the professors. My transcript wasn't there. Because when I submitted my transcript, the Senate building was one small building. That was when they were building that your 12 story building. Is it 12 or 13 stories? The Senate high rise. 11. That was when they were building it. So they forgot to, trans, to, uh, trans, uh, sorry, to transfer our transcript from the old building to the new one. So what happened at UI? Sorry, no show. Ha, ah, I was devastated. So my dad said, I should come and meet his friend there. Professor Alao, who was in the geography department. That day was my bad day. The man looked at, took a short look at me when I told him this story. He said, let me tell you one thing. The way I look at you and your innovative way that you want to go into medicine at all costs, there's nothing I can do. You can't do medicine anymore. But let me tell you one thing. How old are you? I told him, I'm, I'm 14 going to 15. He said, ah, ah, you still have time. When you finish this world, you can now do medicine. I said, no problem, sir. I disliked him. That was the saddest day of my life, the second one, apart from the jam stuff. Say, go ahead with your zoology. As I, it was the worst birthday gift. As I was getting out of his door, the man became the vice chancellor later on, Professor Nuruddin Alao. Now, as I was walking out of the door, cursing in my mind, not him, oh. he just said, come back, young man. Let me tell you one thing and you will quote me later, you will end up not doing medicine. Ah, man in shape. <laughs> what a, one strict uh, Muslim, uh, you know, Afar-like kind of person. I said, I know you asked me why. 
I said, you'll be so innovative in your zoology that doctors will be the one looking for your consultancy. Do you know that's what's happening now? I ended up doing my zoology eventually, but we're about 30 something in class. If I don't know if I'm, if I'm right, but I know 90% of the students in my class, they ended up not doing medicine. Uh, sorry, not doing zoology. Everybody disappeared into different aspects of life. Some read medicine again. When to do that medicine again, I know one, Shaney, we still communicate now. Some are into big time banging, some into communications, you know, that kind of thing. Only three of us were left. Me, uh, one young lady too, GMC Olorutui. If you Google Marine Services Council, UK, she's the one in charge of that unit. Big girl. Right. <laughs> Are you getting me? And then there's one, I think, the professor of university in Port Harcourt there. And I made up my mind, like the man predicted, I was representing Unilag at quiz competition. That time they used to do quiz. And I won the one for science. Right? Because I've been doing quiz for my school, secondary school. So what happened? While they were going to put everything in science to my head, you know, we biology, zoology are the olodos then. If you know what I mean by olodo, there's a way some folks look down on you. That's why many of you want to do medicine. I don't really want to look second rate, especially peer pressure. So, but I took solace in quiz. So when I won the science department, four people represented the university. The science, the arts, I think engineering, and maybe actuarial science or so, I can't remember. Do you know, I was made bookworm in the library because they want me to get everything about science, physics, biochemistry, and the rest. So while studying in the library, that's when I came across some books on aquarium construction. I saw the book. I said, what? Why are they not teaching us this? So I borrowed the book. In fact, I borrowed it for almost a year. Now, I started looking at what's inside. OK, you can put glass together. I ended up, I just told my dad, and he said, ah, there's broken glass where he works at Lagos Police Rural Area. So we took the broken glass. I went with him on the weekend. We took the broken glass. Then I looked for Haradite gum, and I put the glass together. I supported it with uh, masking tape. Are you getting me? Then I looked for plants, because I read it inside there that if you're an intelligent person, you make your aquarium have live plants, not plastic like this. There's an option in uh, commerce. So I said I was going to use live plants from day one. So I looked for an epiphyte. You know this yellow, yellow stroke blue plant that used to creep? It can survive in water for four months. And that's what I put inside the stuff. Now, from our house at Surulere, at the weekend, I put it on my head. I didn't know you have to remove the water in the aquarium. And brought it to campus. Now the whole thing cost me 55 naira. How much did I sell? 300 naira to these students from Cameroon. You know, we have foreign students coming here then, Cameroon, Ghana, on like the opposite now. And that was a lot of money because my school fees then was even 300 naira. So that's how I started selling aquariums. Did you get that? So when we finished BSc, I think I forgot to collect my BSc certificate. So I went for youth call, came back, did my master's. At that time, I paired with a friend of mine, it's an architect student, who I helped to, I mean, to heal his fish that was sick. And he said, why can't we start something? But he got one or two years extra for strike. I mean, they protested in their stuff. So I was the one running the company called Spectrum Aquatics. Now, I started the company in 1988, officially, right? Now, there's a book here, if you look at this, uh, Aquarium Care Column, a recall of popular Sunday time series for aquarium keepers and professionals. Now, how did I come this? Now, when I finished the master's, and I found that my friend was still in school, right? But we agreed that we form a company and register the company. Is that okay? Now, we got the first staff, the second staff, the third staff. Of course, my dad said, put your application on the state government. You know what happened? By the time the interview came, we already have about uh, eight staff working with us. The question is, should I sack the staff and join the Lagos State government, or I continue? 
I chose to continue because I just seemed to like what's going on. So you know what we did? We just decided to build samples of different aquariums and showed some entrepreneurs, you know, family friend, one of my uncles, said we need 5,000 Naira to be able to go for a trade show. That's the second international trade fair. The man took a quick look at me and said, ah, country is hard. Country has always been hard from time immemorial. Even though I saw him spend almost 150,000 for a minister of base some, some three weeks later. But we ended up getting one uh, elderly like that, Mr. Afolabi Akitola, still alive now. That's a father to a school friend of mine uh, in secondary school. He gave us, he just took a quick look at us and said, okay, 5,000, right? No problem. I'll borrow you now this September. You bring it December. He said, yes, sir. That's how we went to the first international trade fair. One of them, we were there, you the master's degree in fisheries from University of Lagos. While his partner is a Fanai architecture student, who for that reason now wishes to remain unnamed. And that's how we started one article after the other. So we did this for almost about 90, about 1991, until that youthful zeal, my partner misbehaved when we came about some big money. And then there was a crash. And I focused my effort on the aquaculture part. And today, the aquaculture part is huge. If you see this book, you see so many people doing catfish, catfish everywhere. I'm sure you notice there. You're going, yeah, yeah, yeah. The man who made that happen is the one standing in front of you. And that's why I got angry in my spirit that if guys who didn't go to school are becoming multimillionaires in this simple concept of catfish fingering production, how much more you, you're my family member, whether you like it or not. So I'm going to make that happen. So what I did then was, since this is not what I'm even interested in, let me just open everything to people. And that's when I documented them in books and CDs, you know, fingerling production. Make it easy, put the, uh, have the, what's it called? It's even in drawings, you know. Then how to grow catfish, uh, how to make a plastic pond. Uh, which one again? We got a pond construction. There's another one, pond construction. Okay. There's one on pond construction here. Then we have this one. I income fish farming using recirculating aquaculture system. Uh, I'm going to show you some videos later on now. You see farms with over 70,000 fishes raising 80 million naira worth of fish per annum on two and a half plots of land, and no water comes out of that compound. You see it from the drawing. Do you have the okay? okay. We'll get to that later, but I want to take you the sequence. But I just had to do this introduction first. Now I will show you what this drawing means now. How it means $278,000 every year for somebody in his house. And you can make it happen and a better. That's why I want to use, like I say, I take you as a family member. Is that okay? I'm not hearing somebody say yes, sir. You know, and I'm going to sound a warning along the line. Understand the word mentorship. Is that okay? I came here with a mind that I'm going to make this guy a multimillionaire, a billionaire. Now, this lady is going to become one. But you've got to remember to give your respect. I don't expect any money from you. All I deserve is honor. Is that okay? Because a lot of that go on everywhere in the scientific world. Where you see a young boy, are you getting me? Who knows next to nothing? But because he's gone through my books and co, claims it was from the top farmer men that he got the concept from and that even we are even small boys, you know, that kind of thing. And I laugh. And immediately you abuse your father. Are you getting it? Your lamp will be cut out of obscurity. I just leave you to continue your mistakes. Are you getting me? So let's get it clear. Today is the bath of multi billionaires world over that will influence the whole world from this class. Now, what do I mean by that? Five years ago, I was in Singapore, a country called Singapore. Now, Singapore is a very tiny country. You don't see it on your map. You only see full stop. Because you can go around the country in about 45 minutes or so. 3.2 million people, right? Now, I got there. The story why I chose the country is for another day. 
but I was consulting for Covenant University on the Entrepreneurial Development Studies project. And that's what led me to that place eventually. Now this country, do you know, they got 72 terminals in their airport. 72. Muritala Mohammed has eight terminals. Only two is functional as at early this year. Now, at Singapore International Airport, the largest air freight item out of that airport is tropical fish. That's funny. Tropical fish. That makes Singapore to produce one third of the fishes everybody uses for the aquarium hobby. By the way, the aquarium hobby is the second most popular hobby in the world. The number one, which all of you are involved, is photography. Number two is keeping fish as pets. God used me to make it happen between 87 and 1991. Ask your dad when you get home. Daddy, you know, Korea was very popular. Why didn't we have one? You will see your dad's face brighten up. Oh, yes, we don't know why Korea is no longer in existence. The old thing fizzled down in 1991, and I decided to focus on aquaculture. Now, because my passion is the ornamental world, are you getting me? I like entertainment. I like the razzmatazz, right? So, after 19 years and days now, I said I'm going back to my original passion. And I know one can do it alone. It's going to be through a couple of folks. So let's get cracking. You see, on your, on your what's it called, they put 10 cash flow, right? Number one is trolling. Can we call that word? Trolling. Now, that's the essence of our course, marine biology and oceanography, isn't it? Uh, just, just hold on with this first. Now, marine biology and oceanography. So we're supposed to be the one to tell a, uh, a trawler where exactly it's supposed to go and pick fish right inside the sea. Let me give an example. If you, are, if you want to capture, somebody gives you an assignment, get me 100,000 people in five minutes or let's say 500,000 people in five minutes, where will you go to? You head straight to Oshodi, isn't it? Not 10 in the morning. You go there around 5 p.m. Is that not? Because you know, if you, if you throw your net towards the Agegemoto Road side, you are likely to get almost about 250,000, isn't it? If you face the Koko side, you get another 200,000, isn't it? Then if you face the Mushi side, you get the figure, isn't it? Now, that's exactly what we're trained to do as marine biologists, to know how Pinot Zorarum does its migration after coming to breed in the lagoon here. And they all march straight to the, to the ocean, horizontal and vertical migration. So our job is to tell a schemer who has a trawler, look, move 74 nautical miles and drag your 55 meters down for 30 minutes, you'll get a haul. That's what I could grab when we're trained on marine biology and fisheries. But what happened? All of us dislike that phenomenal billionaire aspect of our, of our course. Why? When we go on board, we all begin to vomit. I don't know, have you started sea trip at all? Not yet. Ah, you must, but you'll be free now because it's, it's exciting, but very soon the excitement turns into despair. Why? Because before you go, they will tell you don't eat for about a day or two. And then they give you a tablet called Avomine to, to take, to prevent you from vomiting. The moment you get on the trawler, excited, the first thing when they start going up and down, that they want to cross the barrier of the lagoon to the sea, now you start vomiting. Have you been on a very fast excavator, I mean escalator, this lift? You can imagine how it feels to you, especially those of you that have little acrophobia. All of us have it to some extent. Now, that's what you feel. Non it's like you close your eyes and you jump as high as possible, about four or five times. You will know your system gets disorientated and vomiting starts. It's the Ajabota ladies that start their vomit, you know. They vomit salad, you know, pizza. What else do they vomit? You know what I'm talking about now. Uh, Kentucky Fried, you know. Those powder chicken, right? Then from there, the other ladies from the village, I won't mention names because they're alive too, they're still alive. They start vomiting gari, you know, fufu, and all that stuff. 
he came yelling, you know. Then the boy starts to sue. By the time he gets to the middle of the, the way the action is, all of us are like walking cops. It's only one or two Nigerian schemers and the Indians who are alive. And I said, why is this happening? So by the time we come back, we're just happy. Everybody, oh my God. So what do you think? You, you want to do that kind of course? No. But the biggest people who make the most cash in this country now are the people who are executing the marine biology, the people who are the trawler, who are capturing the resource for everybody. The lagoon is a big hatchery for the biggest shrimp in the world, one of the biggest in the world, Pinot de Rarum. They call it Pinot de Rarum, the pink shrimp. It's almost the size of a banana. May you be able to go for lunch with your parents at, uh, what's it called, Civic Center for a plate, 34,000 Naira, to eat a plate of pink shrimp. Just tell us, I mean, that's an excursion, isn't it? We all should be jailed because we're eating the babies. Of course, the shrimp your mom cooked. Was it not small, small things like that? The babies that should have been really so grow big. But some folks are the ones capturing the adults. Do you know there are people who are taking 300,000 kilos every day? Excuse me? And I've been to their office and bought two kilos for 16,000 naira. Now let somebody press his calculator for me now. Now, two kilos is 16,000 naira. Now, how much is 300,000 kilos that they get every day? That's if your calculator does not come, come up with E or jam. Quickly, let somebody tell me. How much? Now, how much is 300,000 kilos? It's showing E. Oh, your calculator is showing E. Can you see that? The calculator is showing E. Oh, yeah, it will show you. Can I ask? I'm waiting. Can I assist you? Oh. Can you see the potential of our course? <laughs> and I'm going to let you know where you better go and do attachment for those of you. And I'll tell you the secret that will not make you vomit. Quickly. What did you get? I beg your pardon? 4.8 E9. What is the meaning of that? 4.8 4.89. Can you? Huh? Two point. Oh, okay, good, good, good. Can you say that? Can you say that for us? Two point four billion. No, face them. Just tell them so that they see that it's from your mouth. Two point four billion. Billion what? Cover. Okay. Two point four billion naira. They're going to make today with just about seventy trawlers. Right. And these folks are not Nigerians, but they are picking the thing from our waters. So how do you get involved now? Hello? For those of you who are keen on having hefty money, who wants to belong to the Dangote group? Right class. Make sure you take your sea trip seriously. Now, one top secret told me that makes all of us vomit like goats. That doesn't make an... Indian man vomit is that a week to the sea trips, instead of taking avomine, you go and start drinking lime. Let lime be part of your diet. Time out, lime, you know that small thing? It has this anti regurgitation factor. Even pregnant women too occasionally, but you don't take it too much so that it won't affect the baby. Are you getting me? So that you don't vomit in the early stage of pregnancy. So if you are, if you are used to taking lime, then your eyes are open and you are able to there was a day we went on a sea trip with Professor Kusemiju. I was looking for that photograph. I, I held it because Shola Kisonya was there. I'm sure she's one of your lecturers there too. Mrs. Uh, Dr. Shibono. She was there, a small fine girl like that. That we used to have a crush on them then, you know? I forgot to bring that picture with Professor Kusemiju. It must be somewhere, maybe I'll see it later on. Now, that before we went out, <laughs> there was a day we caught so much fish this marine catfish that the whole science complex was in big trouble. We dash, 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 and dash people that the whole complex was smelling. So, you got to make sure you do your attachment in one of those companies. Is that okay? 
The only thing that will sort you whether it's meant for you or not is that some of you, you take the line, it won't even, it won't even do you anything. No. You get what I'm saying? Then you know that's not your line. Is that okay? Just like many of you will be pregnant later on, and you don't even feel it, know that you're even pregnant. Why some? It will be in hospital for almost two, three months. Am I wrong? I mean, you ask from your mommy's experience. You get what I'm saying? Uh -huh. So, the same way too. So, please let me know so that I can give you insight as to which company you are going to do an attachment in that regard. Is that okay? Now, I'm going to tell you something. There is an association called Nigerian Trollers Association. Is that okay? Now, they control the troller thing and all that stuff all over Nigeria. Now, one thing is that how will I have money to even buy a troller? Let me tell you, the folks who are into trolling, I'll give you four examples. T.Y. Wow. Danjuma, he has Tarabok Fisheries. Now, you know, it was a new paper recently, all this uh, Bebo room stuff, you know, what do you call them? Social media, yeah. right? That it could, is richer than nine states in Nigeria. Did, some, did any of you see that stuff? That some of these, you know, it's very quite general. It's not into communications or they are about, but he made the bulk of his money from Tarabok Fisheries. Because your dad doesn't have a troller now. It's our common web now. The shrimps are there beside your lagoon. Who's going to capture? Are you getting me? The second person I'll use as an example, the Hebrew family. Sheraton Hotel was built with money from marine biology and, and fisheries and oceanography. Why? They, 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 the people they didn't have their trawlers. They partner with a company called Taiwo Taiwo or Taiyo Taiyo. You know, this Japanese name used to look like Yoruba name sometimes, right? And with the influence of their uncle then, Okotiebo, they now had license and they brought those people's trawlers. And that's how they started fishing our waters. Now, the story, you know, the Hebrew family now, how big they are in terms of pockets, you know, pocket size. They, how many of you use matches at home? Matches to fire your gas, to, to light your. Do you know? For, come on, I think I switched it off accidentally. Oh, oh, it's on. For every. I'm not used to microphone, it's slowing me down. <laughs> now, for every matches you strike like this, one man gets commission. You know his name? Chief Bode Akindele is still alive. Chief Bode Akindele. He's bought almost 95% of all the match companies in Africa. Where did he make the money from? Now, in case you don't know his investment, he's the one who owns uh, Dolphin Estates. HFP construction that built all the buildings. Jack only built the other ones, Jack only estate. One man built Dolphin Estates. How many of you know Dolphin Estates? The money he used is the money from modern Lola fisheries. I think somebody is getting angry now. And he wasn't the owner of the, of the stuff. Let me see here if I have the biography, okay? I'm going to help you with this. I used to be the official uh, autobiography person for Winners Chapel, Teens Church. You see, I have something here. Biographical knowledge of Shibori Akidele, the multi-billionaire trader industrialist. His profile. I searched for his profile and I got it from Ruben Abati eventually, who was the one who published it then. You know, hardly do you see a correct biography of somebody without a K leg in between. But this one is awesome. So the 700 page book are turned into two pages there. So maybe you can photocopy it. Because no two person here might end up doing the same thing eventually. You might all wish the same thing, but it's going to be all different. So I'll know how to coach each and every person. Is that okay? Number two, food fish farming. That's edible fish farming. Now, that's the easiest thing I can think of now because we have simplified that one so much that it's supposed not to be. Have you done courses on uh, catfish fingerling production? Have you done any course on that? Oh, 500 levels. Okay, 400 and 500 levels. Ah, I hope you let me jump start. Jump start this course so that uh, when they get to 400 and 500 levels, it will look like a shy explain. Because left to me, it wouldn't take me three hours to take you through that course. Are you getting me? So that you can produce why. Yaba Tech secondary school student came to our place a year and a half ago. And uh, 
out of the 200, 70 paid, I say 1,000 or so extra, and we took them in fingerless production. Almost 13 of them employed their mom to start producing catfish in their house. Eventually, the school, the university, or the poly, now it's a university status, right? Yeah, but take, gave the secondary school money to develop a fish farm. Do you have it on the screen at all? Now, to develop a fish farm, the students have become crackerjack. They are better off than many of us. So the funny thing is that they are now allowing the JS1 student to teach the university students. Can I call one of them to come and teach you? It's all about humility. Should I tell one of them to come and take you? I'm not really yes. Can I tell one of them to come and take you? Yes. Look, this thing is science. And I've simplified this science. It's about life. Now, listen. There's a 10-year-old girl that they said she, she was molested and she gave back to a baby, isn't it? True or false? Now, is that, now, with somebody who is 38 years old, who is a professor and is still childless, is that a reason to be jealous? No. It's a sequence that has been created by God. God has given you that grace to know what to do when you see how it's done. Isn't it? By the way, do you know I have somebody who is blind, you know, when he, who is producing catfish fingerlings? And as a deaf and dumb on Lagos Island, who is doing catfish fingerlings production? So what's the big deal? Now, if you want to know how to produce catfish fingerlings, are you getting me? Go to this place. Before nightfall today, you will know how to produce it without paying me one cover. Are you getting me? All right. Now that's the Yabatek uh, stuff. Be behind one classroom there. Now, if you want to know how to produce catfish fingerlings, go to www.youtube.com, youtube.com slash Mr. Fish World, youtube.com slash Mr. Fish World. Then pause a little. Now, you, what did you press? Now, if you go to that site, that's my YouTube page. By the way, I think you should subscribe to it automatically, really. After all, it's free. Now, what, what was the title? Empowerment, Mr. Fish Empowerment. Okay. Okay, Mr. Fish Latest Techniques. Yeah, that's the title there. Mr. Fish Latest Techniques. That's what's written there. Now you think you are going to watch a church program. No. And yes. Because that program, at that program, let me pause. At that program, I will lower the volume. Now, at that program, I was teaching 15,000 people live. Fingerless production. And a crowd of 1.4 million people were watching from 84 countries live. And many of them have taken steps and producing catfish fingerlings. What's going to take you three years to be able to do that? That's why I said, before tomorrow morning, I expect if I call your number, that if you can spare one hour online, are you getting me? You should know how to produce catfish fingerlings. Is that okay? Is that a deal? Because if I want somebody to help me consult, who should I call to get some extra cash? You. Why are you looking at me like that? Okay. Who should I call? You. And I want that to happen as quickly as possible. It's such an easy thing. Is that okay? You should graduate from catfish to tilapia. How many of you are aware of tilapia fish, right? Now, why is it not popular in Nigeria? Tilapia is not popular because the girls are promiscuous. Now, you're going to expect, now, bros, if you want to marry now, you are the one that's going to toast a lady now, isn't it? You don't expect to be the one to say, excuse me, I'll be giving him face. No, that's not the word. But if you're a tilapia, that's what will happen exactly. <laughs> are you getting me? And that's a big problem for farmers. Now, because once she's out doing that, with all the lipstick and all the pancake and all that sort of kind of, she's not going to even have the time to eat at all. When the male goes to start making the nest, and by the way, the ladies go for the alpha male. Now, when I say alpha male, it's not the man with the six pack, so, you know, it's the one with the big pocket now, with the pocket pack. But for fish, you know, you know, and humans, so your own definition of, of uh, alpha male is different now, isn't it? Whether the man is short, or whatever it is, as long as, I think the, the lady, the female species change now. Now, by the way, so what you do, thank you. Now, what you're going to do is this. A farmer knows that the tilapia female is an embarrassment. 
because the moment she is in the mood, she's not going to eat at all. When she lays the eggs, she's going to be guarding with the with the bobo now. And then when she the the the, the, the eggs ash, you think you are free, and your female fish will eat and grow big at least. Do you know she's not going to eat for quite almost a week plus? And you know why? Because when there is danger, the babies are going to hide inside her mouth. She's a mouth brooder. Can you call that one? Mouth brooder. So if she's busy showing, chewing gum, I saw your own lips moving too. Now if, it's, if the mouth is busy like yours, and then there was danger, where would the babies run to? No way. So God has designed it that she's not going to eat at all. Now that's big frustration for the farmer. So what do you do? Plenty more babies. You put 1,000 fish there, they are now becoming 5,000 and they are not growing big. And yet you are targeting to sell fish half a kilo. So what do you do? Farmers just decide, I'm going to remove all the girls. Mind you, if you have 5,000 in your pond and you mistakenly leave one girl with the boys, that girl is enough to mess up the whole pond. She's got capacity just like a guy has capacity. I hope you know you have the capacity to father Africa. <laughs> now, one ejaculate from a, a, a matured man has about 860 million sperm cells or thereabout, isn't it? Now, if they take it and in the, what do you call it, the bank they call, they, they talk about now, and inseminate 860 million women, you think they won't be fertilized? Congrats, boy. So you can take care of Africa, right? That's the capacity, and the same thing with the capacity for the baby tilapia too. Are you getting me? So it's a big problem for you, the farmer, because you want the big fish. So what do you do? You remove the girls using methylene blue to check the bomb bomb out, or here's one mistake in soup. Or what people just do, you just kill girls, you know? These girls are a big problem, just, just kill them off. But as a third alternative, you turn all the girls to boys. Now, if you are a farmer, tilapia farmer, let's agree now here. What method do you think we should be using? We remove all the girls, kill all the girls, or turn all the girls to boys? Again? Uh, you folks are church here, so you are merciful. Okay, we turn all the girls to boys, okay? That looks a nice one. So what we're going to do is this. You are going to do something, because that's what I want you to focus on, is a new vista. Is that okay? Now, what do you use to make that happen? You are going to get what we call alpha methyl testosterone. Can we call that word? Alpha methyl testosterone. It's an hormone, it's like a powder. It's going to be mixed, are you getting it in absolute alcohol? And what you do is to administer it to the babies of the tilapia the day they are born. Do it for about 10 days, and all the girls turn to boys. By the way, stop saying that alpha methyl testosterone is going to be harmful. If you live to be 95 or 98, and you still wants to be romantic with your wife, who is still alive, to add 98.5 years or thereabout, you are going to need that kind of a moon too to enhance your libido. So it's not that, it's really harmful per se. Is that okay? Just live long enough, you are going to join the tilapia too in the administration. Anybody here wishing to live to 95, 96? Me, I wish to live to 95, and so you will live here before me, right? Okay, how many of how many of wish to live to 60? Okay, 70. Okay, 90. Oh, okay, you now understand me now. How about 100? Oh, we're talking now. That's why I have, I have a 30s in my place that is teaching me how to live long. 30s are not, you know 30s now from the story from your grandma, isn't it? That tortoise, they, they're so smart. I don't know why tortoise would be here for 300 years. How can he have been more useful than you? To, to stay here for a longer time? I think it's for the purpose, and I'm learning from them. We've got a 16-year-old guy with us there. Smart guy, you know. He wouldn't take anything acidic at all. It's all alkaline fruits. You know, carrots, cabbage, cucumber. You know, just think of anything alkaline. That's teaching me a lesson. And I'm doing that too. And that's why I got a lot of capacity, even at 54, going 55. I still do so many things. Are you getting me? So we're going to learn from, so you're going to get some information from tilapia too, isn't it? So we're going to take the tilapia by the storm. I mean, take the bull by the horns. So what I'm going to do later is to make the university have, have access to tilapia, the male and female. Is that okay? 
Some of you are going to raise it. Are you getting me? And then we now see how do we apply methotestosterone to have what they call an all-male population. The whole country is looking for people who have all-male tilapia. Who is keen on that aspect of aquaculture? Can I see your hands up? Okay. Please put your name and your telephone number and just put it there. All-male tilapia technology. Is that okay? Right. We move from there to info... Now, it's not just tilapia alone. I've told you about pangasius. There's a fish called snakehead. It's the sweetest fish in the world, right? And that fish is awesome. When you eat it, your body becomes strong as if you're, you know, you know, you know like a wrestler. Now, nobody is, nobody is breeding this fish at all. Some of you are going to get involved in snakehead fish. Now, by the way, it's an exported fish. But the day you take it to Florida, that day you won't come back home safely because you'll be jailed. It's banned in Florida. Why? Because most of the time we're in force, they find the fish trying to migrate back to Africa. And when you are driving on the road, a young man with a little bit of alcohol, and you see a fish do like this, when you put on your headlight, and you go into the ditch. Policeman comes, put a little bit of stuff in your mouth to check a little bit of alcohol. You say, what happened? He said, I saw a fish on the road. A fish on the road. You get the handcuff straight. Until CCTV made them know that it was the snakehead that was making all this happen. So they ban snakehead. They even see the sewer. It looks big as if it's a snake. A slightly vicious fish. But then it's the sweetest fish in the world. You come off salt completely if you have to cook that fish. The day you come to my place, you see the sample. Is that okay? So somebody can get into that. And by the way, there's a fish that is sold for 6,000 naira per kilo. Catfish is 1,000 naira per kilo. That fish is called Gymnac Gymnacus niloticus. Now, by the way, any Yoruba lady here at all? You know you're a Yoruba lady. Can I see your hands up? Okay, fine. Now, there's no guy who's going to assess you as a wife that will not make that fish part of the things he's going to, he's going to use for, what do you call that in, in English? Bread fries. fries, right? He's the number one fish to get a girl from the family to join you as husband and wife. But the one thing about the fish is this. It eats other fishes. So once you know how to produce cattle fingerlings, use it to feed your, your what's it called, your gymnacos, and you are on. The only thing about gymnacos is this. You don't do it anyhow in an earthen pond, or else the fish is going to castrate you. Did you hear what I said? Well, that means it's off limit for boys now, that the girls can go ahead and focus on gymnacos. Did you hear what I said? That the, the gymnacos is so vicious, when it's in the breeding season, that they take off anything that is between two trunks. That's your legs inside the water. Unfortunately for you, the thing between the two trunks is your second man. Guys, you know what I'm talking about. There is somebody alive at Abekuta now who has just one of his tennis off. If you want to join him and do family planning quick, then go for gymnacos. But I think that's a big one for the ladies. And it's so expensive. So we're going to have, when you get to my place, you see it. And then why can't somebody get into this? Now on exports, Melvin, how much is ABBA? The baby, the baby. The baby. Yeah. Um, depends. It depends. Anything from, oh, did you hear that? The baby, just about a little bigger than a match. You know, you know match, a single match, right? You did hear what he said now? Five dollars. That's about two thousand naira for just that tiny baby. So, how much do you think they are to be sold on export? I think uh, what is not for the wise. Let's move on. So, can you see the future in edible fish farming? For now, Japanese are the one buying it overseas, and they raise it to big size and probably sell for their customers for maybe twenty, thirty dollars, forty dollars, fifty dollars. Now let's come to number four, uh, number three, infopreneuring. Information, packaging, and communication. Now, I've told you already about this. Now, this is the most sold book package in the world on catfish farming. I can tell you that of it. We don't even have it on Amazon yet. Do we have it on Amazon? No. Now we sell this pack for about... Uh, 
400 dollars, right? Uh -huh. about, about 100 dollars, that kind of thing. And you buy it for 50. Now, before we're selling it for, is it 6,000 or thereabouts? Some guys in the US say, what can you, which kind of pastoral stuff is this? In, we just decided, off limit, let's, let's sell for 50K. Now we come to 40,000 Naira. Now, what comes in for you with this? Now, I've got a limit to what I can sell. Isn't it? Why can't you affiliate selling this knowing that it's only from one source and make your commissions? After all, 90% of Nigeria is based on trading. The LG TV in your house, was it your dad that manufactured it? It was manufactured in China, isn't it? And then brought to a shop. He made this company a wholesaler. The wholesaler takes it to an LG shop. The retailer now sells it to you, isn't it? Same way too, why can't we do it for information? Are you getting what I'm saying? I have never opened it up for the public. And that's why you will not get a soft copy of this. Do you know why you don't get a soft copy? Because there was a fellow in Cameroon that we gave a soft copy to. So, uh, no, I think, yeah, soft copy, right? Then another fellow called from Cameroon about a month later. So we now said he wanted to pay, so he didn't know how to pay. We now said, okay, what you do is that call this man to tell you how you are going to trans wire the money to us. You know what the guy, the other one told this one, who wanted to wire money? He said, ah, Mr. Fish is nice. Why are you going to trouble yourself now? You know, just spoke French to him and just said, look, I'll just uh, transmit it into you on the laptop. Now, you are the one who bought first. You are the one who wanted to find out address, how to trans. You know, you know what you did? You now came back to me. Mr. Fish, I don't like what the person who you introduced to me said. He said it would just transfer to me on his laptop. I don't want to do that. Because if I do that, I know I'll still need your services for construction, for so many other things. So why would I do that? What do you think came to this? We've been losing money because of that. So we withdrew the soft copy everywhere. Are you getting what I'm saying? Now, it does not stop at that. So for some of you who are keen on remarketing this while you're at school, you are the only four set of people I'm going to open that up to. Is that okay? If it's something you are keen on, I'm going to let you know how to do that later on. Put your name down on a piece of paper and a barrel and write in front of it. Are you getting me? Affiliate info product. Did you get me? Affiliate info product. Now, let me tell you, it cost me nothing to make you make 10,000 naira on each of the sets you sell. Is that okay? Because I can use my initiative to sell for somebody for 20,000, for 10,000 naira. If I was talking now, I'm sure that guy in uh, Saudi Arabia will have paid, isn't it? It's always continuous. Because we're here now, it's like being here is like a distraction to the stream of robots. When we open our telephone, you're going to see it on the WhatsApp. Payment done, payment done, payment done here and there. Now, I did a TV promo for it to show, to make it easy for anyone who wants to sell to sell, but I've never opened it to anybody. I went to Glendora about two months ago to drop it for them. They were shocked. You sell a book for 40,000 and it's moving. I said, of course, but I've not gone there. To, so the man said he will send it to the management, but I've not had the time for two months now to go there to show you how busy we are. We have much more than medical doctors. Now, somebody after watching will now want to say he wants to construct, isn't it? The next thing to do is to say we want to assist them to draw what is going to happen at his farm. And that's why we now give them something like this. We call this Walking drawings. Can you call that word? David just show them around. Now he's going to show you. Try and just zero in on on this particular. Now you saw some boxes here, isn't it? Now do you know this farm belongs to somebody who I had never seen face to face. I know he's a Nigerian, but I don't even know. I've not seen his image. Are you get me? That's a typical bill of uh, walking drawing that shows you the kind of drawing that's going to go on the different structure that's going to be in your farm. Now, I'll tell you where you can make money out of that. You'll be wondering, how come I'm the one drawing? I did technical drawing when I was in secondary school, but you don't have to draw because I'm not the one drawing now. I don't know somebody at Yaba Tech who knows how to draw. Who I can introduce to you to assist you too. Is that okay? Now, let me just use one basic example. Now, this farm, the guy approached me and said he wanted to set up a farm on an acre of land. And I said, 
you got to pay me for working drawing and then the amount of material that will make that up. How much do you think we should take for this? How much do you think we should charge for just this drawing? Hello? 50,000. 50, nice guess. How much do you think we should? Uh, that's, uh, that's a little bit heavy. That's a little bit heavy. That's a little bit heavy. That's a, somebody said 50,000. Somebody said, I want one more guess. How much do you think? 80,000. No, boy. 450K. Ha. She said, ah. Today, show them. Now, that amount, that amount is peanuts to what you're going to see now. Because without this, the structure will not have been in place. He never came to Nigeria, and the farm is running. That's the farm. Now, the farm is made up of about uh, uh, five times uh, five times five, twenty-five pounds. Each one is three meters by seven meters, twenty-one thousand liters, taking two thousand fishes each. Calculate two thousand fishes each times twenty-five. What will we get? I want to understand how much it's going to make. The man is making 2,000 times 25. How many? How much? 50. 50,000 fishes, right? Okay? Multiply by 2. That's 100,000, right? Then multiply by 900. That's the price of one fish, one kilo. So multiply the 100,000 by 900. How much did you get? Excuse me? Talk, talk now. You're, you, you're even afraid to call these amounts. <laughs> okay? Now, that's a cool one on two and a half plots out of an acre farm. Now, I'm designing something that will fetch you 90 million naira, right? How much do you think I should charge you for? But you've got to be modest. Why we're cheap is this we're cheap because we are still a pioneer. Are you getting me? And we want people to get used to that systems. Now there's a system now. That's why I want to impart that system on you. Is that okay? We are the only ones doing this now. Except one young boy on the internet now, on YouTube, who is a very effective, I don't know, he didn't go to any fishery school per se. But then he used fish as part of that acronym on YouTube. And he's just tagging along with us. The little bit of arrogance in quotes in door. Are you getting me? And that's why I want people like you who actually had a mind or providence brought you into fish to be the one to take the bull by the arms. Now, what's special about this farm is that water does not go out of this farm. The whole system is run on what we call recirculating aquaculture technology that's using biofiltration. How many of you would like, like me to teach you the concept of biofiltration? Okay. I think it's important to get to our place because it's so easy to let you know this in 15 minutes when you are in my compound than when I have to tell you abstract Then you can come here and replicate it in the school or replicate it in your house. School or school me. <laughs> you get what I'm saying? You do it in the school so that you can have a perfected approach to it. Then you do it right in the house. Now, what's the concept of recycling? It's about beneficial bacteria. How many of you know the word symbiosis? You know what I mean. You are all biology students, isn't it? Now you know Nitrobacter and Nitrosomonas, right? One converts your poo poo, which, and your wee wee, which is ammonia. It converts to what you call nitrites. And then the other one, Nitrobacter, converts the nitrite into nitrates. And that nitrate is the fertilizer plants use for growth. In fact, that's what they use for hydrophonics, this planting that you don't use soil at all. Are you getting me? Now, when you get to our compound, you are going to see over seven different types of biofiltration systems. Are you getting me? Or without that, we'll be dead. How will we maintain all the poo poo of the fish and the rest? Well, we have close to about 100 species that have different needs. So, okay. Now, to show you how people love this thing, I posted the first video and the second video on the same day on YouTube. That's www dot Mr. Fishwall, no, youtube.com slash Mr. Fishwall. Now, I put it there the same day. Now, in about seven months, six months or so, 1.6, 1. 1.1600 uh, 1. 1, people are watching the main beautiful pond structure that looks like a factory. 
Meanwhile, this chambers, <laughs> you know many people have watched it, almost about 14,000, same day. What does that tell you? That boys are desperate to know what's inside the chamber. Isn't it? Now, deliberately, at the stage, I said, sorry, enough. I'm not telling you more. But I can tell you everything. Are you getting me? So we need that audience to make that happen. So if you're keen on understanding water recirculating aquaculture system, can I see your hands up? I need five. It's always more than five anytime it's becoming crowded. I always need about five because when you have less people, you focus, let them be the bolo in it. But it's okay, no harm. Some will fall aside because some just raise up their hand because they have me talk now. But some are just serious. But man, I'm picking this up. By the way, you look like one lady. We call her Gogo. She's a graduate of this school. I love her for one thing. She forced that church to have what they call a water fountain. I'll let you know her later on. You got about the same stash or the same bubbly zeal, you know, that kind of thing. <laughs> and I say I'm coming here to look for an Ogogo today, you know. I hope it's you. <laughs> okay, so if you're keen on recirculating the aquaculture system, your name down again, WhatsApp number, please, and then your telephone, that's the WhatsApp, and put against it, W-R-A-S, just on a sheet of paper individually. Don't pass it around. Or oh, you want to pass it around? Is that better? Okay. And so if you're keen, you know why I said individual papers is this? So that because somebody is writing, you two just want to write. Mm, I don't want that. Is that okay? So let's move on to the next one. Okay. Consultancy. and Now that's consultancy on its own. Now, by the way, before we can draw this, you know, we've got to move to that side to see what's going on. Now, do you know how much we charge to go to people's farm to just go and see the, the bush? Do you know how much? And that's the most modest in this world. I charge 200,000 naira. And one or two small boys are charging the same amount too now because Mr. is an old man now. So we younger ones are the ones that know things more. Our brain is still versatile. So they charge even more, right? By the way, it's free aeroplane and free hotel. It must have Wi-Fi, it must have, uh, what's it called, air condition and Wi-Fi, right? That's why one of my videos that I posted two weeks ago, I said, by the way, I've traveled over 300 times inside an airplane in the past two and a half years, and I've never paid one cover. People pay, you want me to come to your place, what do you do? I said, that's part of the perks of consultancy. So if you watch it, you're going to be so excited, that youtube.com slash is that okay? So, do you want to travel without paying at all? Then you better be, can I see your hands up? Then that means you better be a fishery consultant. The only time I, oh, thank you for that. The only time. No, how many people are like that, apart from oil workers? And I tell you, I'm overstretched. I want people like you, but I feel somehow, when is somebody who read, uh, what do you call it, history, that is now posing that is a fish consultant, that I meet in the plane with me. Ah, sir, I'm going to do a consultancy to and co. I want you to check his background. He just read history or read food management at, uh, what's it called? Uh, Lado Kiakitola uh, Polytechnic or something. So let's change this paradigm. I'm not against that. Are you getting me? But you, my family members, are the key people I'm targeting. Is that okay? Don't tell me how that should be. I hope I'm not loading you up too much. You know, you, oh, okay. So let's go to the next one. So after we have done that, that's when they pay that fresh amount for working drawing. Is that okay? Then after that, if you now want to construct, is that okay? We give you the option to construct. Are you getting me? Now, if you say we should come to construct, you buy your materials. Is that okay? If you have your engineers who want to construct, most of them are Olodo. They don't know how to do some things in fish. So they call my team to come and construct. And do you know, half of my team did not go beyond Form 3, J3. And by the way, quite a number of them have built their houses. Because if they give me, how much sometimes per day? Almost about, I mean, if, you, if we go to you to just show your bricklayer how to do things, you know how much you charge per day? It's not like that 20 to 25,000 per day, and that person is going to be there for almost 40 days. And he's going to stay in an hotel. But for now, I'm using the guys who 
I've been able to understand my perspective about construction. Will you allow me to make you know my perspective about construction too? So that you can enjoy the benefits. Will you? Okay, so just put your name down. I think that goes with WRAS cons or construction. Now, I hope I'm not even causing confusion now. Like I told you, there's so many aspects to this thing. So we make money on construction. We make money on working drawings. We make money on the books.